welcome back to visit Falcoast. What a difference a day makes. It's Thursday when I'm filming this. And of course Thursday is digger day. I've got my hat on this morning just for just for Eric. I'm all wrapped up. So we're on the we're on the beach at Cleveland and I've come to explore what the diggers are doing. So don't forget there's a full series of videos from the Wire Beach Management Project. So if you want to know what's happening at Cleveland and down the coast at Russell Point at Fleetwood, you can just you can just watch them or you can binge watch them. It's about 30. <laughs> It'll put you to sleep on a night when you've got insomnia. And it's an absolutely beautiful morning. Yesterday it was foul. It was so cold. I just feel so sorry for these guys working outside in it. Must be awful. So don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed. Don't forget to give this video a like. And make sure that you've signed up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter. And then you'll keep up to speed with everything that's happening in these there parts. So I'm going to turn this round and I'm going to show you what the noisy man's doing. There you go, one noisy man. <coughs> so I've just been asking and apparently he's straightening the rocks out and he's putting them in exactly the right positions because as we've as we've said before these are the oh wow bump must not like that one <laughs> must not like that one these are the finished groins that line up to the crossover ramps so all of these rocks have got to be in exactly the right position so that they're stable and they don't move and that they hold the rock, they hold the sand um, as it as it banks up and builds up against the, the sides of the rocks. So that's what he's doing at the moment. So each one will be GPS plotted using, in fact I bet that's what he's doing now. He's got, within his cab he's got a full computer control system and GPS, there you go. So he touches the nose of the bucket onto the rock and that takes the GPS measurement of that particular rock and records where it is. So that's how he knows exactly which rock to put in which place. So you need to get all the right ones in all the right spots. And then all this rock will join up to this crossover ramp. So this is the base for the crossover ramp. And as you can see, it looks rather, rather forlorn and woebegone when you get near up to it, and a little bit eroded. And that's because this, this, is is the um, poorer quality concrete. It's ordinary concrete. So there's another foot of expensive, super tough, super strong concrete to go on top, and and they'll dig it all back out again and put the, the formers back in and, and relay that. So that's that's why it looks as if it's wearing away. And then when you look at this pile of rocks that are in storage, just look how the sand's already building up round them. That's quite incredible really, isn't it? It's just, it's just a pile of rocks and it's already trapping sand that's drifting northwards because we get a north shore drifting in this spot so it's trapping the sand as it's traveling northwards in the sea i thought we'd come and have a look at one of the famous poles <coughs> this is one of the groin markers and there isn't one on the end of every groin but there's one on the end of enough that are near together so that when you look along the shore, can you see the other ones? Just faintly in the distance, I can see three and then Blackpool Tower at the back of them. And when you're in a boat and you're out at sea and you're traveling parallel to the coastline, you can see that there's a underwater obstruction and it's a whopper, I have to say. And when we stand here, look, lined up, lined up with the Fleetwood ones. Can you see the the poles that are in the ends of the grounds on the Fleetwood scheme? 
and it just indicates that you're near to the coastline and that you're near to a obstruction. I wonder how long that'll stop all green and bright and clean. <laughs> Not very long, I suspect. Pretty clouds while I'm looking up there. They're lovely. And underneath here, there's a there's a piling mat, which is these smaller rocks, and they were for the piling rig to stand on while it while it vibrated it into the beach. So the, these rocks will be taken out and moved and reused when they do other other piles around it at, um, at Russell Point. Gorgeous morning. It's really lovely. The tide's gone right out and I've got all the beach practically to myself. I thought I'd come and have a little walk down here. Well, I've got my wellies on and I'm looking for diggers. How can you, how can you not enjoy this? It's beautiful. Look at that for a view. Have you ever been down on the beach when the tide's really out and seen this? really strange curious looking stuff you probably wondered what on earth it is don't ever walk in it because it's really soggy boggy squidgy horrible this is honeycomb worm reef it's made by a little worm called sabalaria and you can see i'll just i'll just show you this little bit here look that's broken off you can see how there's all lines in it and that's where the little worms have made little channels and it forms a proper reef structure it's quite amazing really and there's great huge banks of it and it stretches all the way along the beach at Cleveland at this sort of low point mark it's not it's not low tide as you can see because the tide the tide is some way beyond it, but it stretches ever such a long way and round to Fleetwood as well. It's quite, it's quite a unique environment and the birds, the birds use it as their hunting ground. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there are quite a few little turnstones and seagulls and all kinds of things that are, that are uh, fruiting about looking for, looking for their lunch. So we're down in Star Wars land now, we're in uh, Nyamos territory. And this is our, what we call our terminal groin. So this groin I reckon has been in about eight years and it was built to try and level out some of the sandbanks. You can see how big this sandbank is here look as I'm walking towards it. And the problem with these crests of sand is that when the tide comes in at the other side of it, you've got a corresponding dip so the tide cuts round the big bank of sand as it's coming in and forms a great big island and then you end up with people getting cut off so what it'll do it'll come up this groin and round the back there round the back on this lower section of beach and it'll leave this this pile of sand as an island and I've seen endless people getting cut off you got to be so careful when it's coming in. I am neurotic about getting down this beach when, when it's when it's I'm just saying when it's busy, when the tide's coming in. So this old groin goes down quite a long way into the beach, and over a period of time, you can see how it's quite even on both sides. The sand build-up is reasonably level. It's one of two little undulations as you'd expect, but it's reasonably level. Um, and this has been in, as I say, about eight years or so. And it's now like an iceberg. There's only a little bit of it floating above the top of the, the top of the beach. And these, this top layer of rocks, there's another two or three underneath that. It's really big underneath. In fact, you can see a bit more of it there. So this is going to come out because the groins are all in certain positions and certain sizes and certain lengths and they'll reuse what rocks they can um, in constructing the next section and in fact that's what they've already started doing now so we're going to take a walk over to Mary's shell and when we get over there you'll see that they started putting some of the 
rocks out of the old grind around the base of Mary's shell because if you've been on the beach a lot you'll know that the the sand around it has been scouring and revealing the concrete block that it's cast on and here's another explanation are you ready you're probably wondering why they're working all over the place well that's because of various different restrictions and rules and planning and all the rest of it <clears throat> so as you'll know if you've got a dog if you've got a dog look footy footy prints if you've got a dog you'll know that the bathing water season runs from the 1st of May each year and from the 1st of May you can't take your dog on this this central section of beach but you can on Russell Beach where we've just come from and that's the time when the bathing waters are tested and that's the bathing water season so they're not allowed from the 1st of May to work on this central section of beach so they're getting as much done now as they can while it's out of season and then in May onwards they'll come back to work at Russell Beach and round the corner at Russell Point so if you're scratching your head wondering it's all planned out to the nth degree I can promise you it's very planned oh I've missed them when I came out this morning they were actually they were actually round here but they've they've gone they've happened to come back for the tea break because it's 10 o'clock nearly they've been out since quarter to eight so this is one of the old grinds that was built when the Cleveland scheme was done and you can see how all the rocks are all colonised in seaweed and algae and whatnot. And you get these lovely little rock pools as well around the edge of them that kids love playing in. In fact, there was a family down there playing in the pool at the side of the big rock groin. Love the pool. Love the pool with the green hat on. So these, these grounds are about the same length as the new ones that they're building. But these are different in that they've got some wood at the top which joins them up to the sea wall. And you'll know that that's not being particularly successful because the boards are always dropping out and then the effect of the, of the grain is lost. So here we have another pile of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how many pals make five, isn't it? <clears throat> so this is a pile of rocks that's been put here, ready to go around the base of the shell. So these are going to go around the bottom of here. And look how that's scoured out. Goodness me. In fact, in fact, as it's scoured out, it's not so much the sand the sand's supposed to come up to the bottom of the shell and cover this metal work up so I think actually what's happened is we've ended up with a great big bank of sand that's built up at the back of it whereas that should be flat and this should be raised so they're going to put some rocks round the base of it which will protect it because it's sat on a big cast concrete block inside shall we do the artistic shot now then there you go there's mary shell looking all gorgeous in the morning in the morning light much beloved by photographers this is the problem with the old style wooden grinds and this is why people build in rock today because rock is much more robust and much more long lasting so when you think that these posts say uh, oh goodness me well let's have a look let's have a look shall we they're about a foot if we use my foot as a ruler they're about 10 inches square i reckon the posts because my foot's not quite a foot 
and they're really substantial wood. I mean, the actual grain boards are uh, really substantial wood. And look at the state of them. They're not exactly in good nick, are they? They're um, a little bit, a little bit worse for weather. So that's why they use rocks. That's why today it's all done with rocks. That looks like two of our beach cleaners ahead. Look like they're doing the litter picking. Oh goodness me, 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 me focus has gone a bit funny. Yeah, they look like they're doing the litter picking look. But what a gorgeous morning to be walking about on a beach and looking at looking at beachworks and rocks and dumpers and diggers and groins and all the rest of it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look around. Don't forget make sure that you've subscribed. Make sure that you've hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget to sign up for your email newsletter. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye for now.